Hi, I'm Lisa Sim, and you're watching WatchMojo.com. And today we're going to show you how to get the perfect duck face. Okay, so I have this little color. It's called Aurora. I'm just going to take a small angle brush, dip into it, fill in those eyebrows. If you feel like going darker, go for it. You know, go big, go home. This is duck face. Take your brush, turn it around. You got your spoolie. Brush it through. If you want to find the perfect line, brush the hairs down. Dip into your color and fill the gaps between the roots of the hair of the top line. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the eyes. What I'm gonna be using is Aveda's Black Tulip Trio. It makes it life a lot easier when you have just one thing to use. Using your shadow brush, we're gonna go into the largest section, which is all the white. You're gonna fill in from the lash line, inner corner, really exaggerate it there, and all across the lower lid just into the crease. We're gonna take a little bit more. We're gonna hold up the arch of the brow just so it gets extra height. Really like hold that arch up and press the color underneath. So we're gonna go into silver, fill in the outer corner in the crease. So that's basically from the lash line to the hollow. So once you've done that, you can push into the crease and then press upwards onto the brow bone. So we're only really doing the outer third of the eye. Okay, so the last step is gonna be like doing a black line all the way around and we're gonna use black with a little bit of this stuff. It's called Color Options Eyeshadow Transformer. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. Take the angle brush, saturate, pick it up. So you've made a little bit of a cake liner. It's not quite a pencil, so it's not gonna double up the same way. It's a little bit softer in terms of a line, but go ahead and just go a little bit wider with this. Now that you've done the line on the top, you're gonna repeat and do all along the lower lash line. Gradating from like the outer corner, going a little bit wider, making sure that the two lines connect, and then gradually tapering it off as it goes towards the middle. So we're gonna go back, take the lightest color, pop that in, just all around the inner corners where the tear ducts are. Okay, and so now that we've done the eyeshadow as liner, we're gonna double up and use some pencil and fill in the waterline and go all over the entire thing. And I'll just finish off by using the angle brush again with the black shadow and we're just gonna seal it all in. You know, a lot of times when you're just using pencil alone, it leaves a lot of gaps and skipping. You still see some skin underneath. Kinda looks tacky. You know, once you've finished all the black, we're just gonna go back to the lightest shade, take your shadow brush, and we're gonna bump everything up. So it's like nice to like just go back to all the highlights afterwards. So inner corner into the middle of the lid, highlight there. I'm gonna straighten out the lash line. I'm gonna get to the root as close as possible. I'm gonna hold it, pulse, get the middles, and then tip really lightly. Bring down again. Now we're gonna go with the mascara. Get into the roots, dig in there and that way the mascara can really encapsulate the eyelash. So we've done that coat, tops and bottoms, looking a little bit like Tammy Faye. We're gonna grab our false eyelashes, do the glue, apply it to the center, and then do the corners. Take your tweezer, the back side, and just push it down so it gets closer to the natural lash line. So sometimes we see a little bit of a seam, so I'm just gonna go back into the shadow, use it with the color option, and I'm just gonna go right on the back of that. Just make it more opaque again. We're gonna like do that double layer of lash action by adding another coat of mascara and fusing your lashes with the falsies. So now we're finished with the eyes, we're gonna move on to the rest of the face, and now we're gonna talk about bronzer, because when you're doing the kusu face, you're gonna get cheekbones, okay? So we're gonna like do the suck in. We're gonna use the Brazilian Sun. That's from Aveda as well. Swirl the two colors together and just do two like long racing stripes. I'm gonna hit the temples and just go all along that jawline. That gives a nice definition. I did the bronzer and now I'm gonna go with Apricot Whisper. Big fake smile and just hit the apples of the cheeks. We're gonna need to like amplify your lips a little bit. Um, we need to like really bring out the shape. So we're gonna do this in like a couple of uh, ways. First of all, we're gonna start with pencils, light to dark. So we're actually gonna take 
Um, this one is actually from Arbonne and it is ginger. I'm going right onto the contour of the lip, right up to the edges. I don't wanna go too dark here, so I think I'm gonna use, what is this one? We're gonna use Cafe. Keeping the mouth closed. We're gonna go even on the outside of the natural lip line. So do a V in the middle of your cupid's bow, get to the top and then continue to the corners. We're gonna go into an actual lipstick. This one is called Moonflower. It's also from Aveda. Take your lip brush, start on the middle lip. Go all the way across, tops and bottoms. Once you've applied across the lip, close. I'm just gonna drag the brush onto the line itself and just soften that and blend it back in with the rest. We're gonna add on a little bit of lip shine. We need something that's real goopy, glossy kind of thing. It's grapefruit pulp. So just in the center of the bottom lip. And just don't go too close to that lip line. Okay, Diana, are you ready to see your reveal of your duck face? Okay. <laughs> it's amazing, it's I have to outrageous. say. Outrageous. You know, we're all guilty of it. We've all done it at one point or another, you know what I mean? We've all done the duck face, but if you're gonna do it, do it right. I'm Lisa Sim, you've been watching watchmojo.com. Enjoy doing your duck face.